Hi there, in this video I'm just going to show you how to um, uh, improve visualization of your maps uh, just, just generally using some default tools that are in QGIS, the sort of blending mode with rasters, um, actually with Hillshed as well. And it's just, it's just a way to make, make your maps look a bit cooler in case you've um, not uh, seen this functionality. So as you can see here, on I've got OpenStreetMap and I've got um, SLTM, the shuttle um, mission data on, on the right here. So you can see this is the elevation data and I've got this very flat raster here and what I'd like to do is effectively blend the two um, and uh, you know ex kind of pull out the data from the OpenStreetMap, the colour and the and the labels etc so that it's sort of clearer on this. So it is a bit different to um, transparency where you're just making something see-through um, so if I just go straight into it, you'll see what I mean. So you go to properties. Now if I was just to go straight into hillshade, so that's to do with you know where the sun is, the altitude and that sort of thing, and um, uh, creating a sort of shadow effect you see. So you can get the sort of peaks and troughs, um, the valleys um, data, so that, that's okay, that's all right. But it's a bit sort of, I mean it could be the surface of Mars really. Um, so let's let's take advantage of this option down here, blending mode in the color rendering. So click on that arrow if you don't see it, color rendering. And we use there's lots of options here. They're different computational um, processes, algorithms, and it's all about playing with light and dark. But we'll, we'll go straight into multiply to really kind of bring it out. So if I click apply now, you'll see how it's brought through this sort of underlying data of the raster. It's kind of brought through the RGB into my elevation um, uh, model um, and I can play around with a few of the settings. Let's up the brightness a bit to make it sort of a bit more clearer and slightly update the gamma I think and then press apply. And now you, you can see what we've got here. So now we've got this sort of very 3D-ish -ish sort of visualization of the um, of the raster data by using the elevation model, um, so it's pretty um, handy really just to add a bit more and by by add a bit more sort of um, uh, information, um, you know, to 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 your maps. So lots of options here, you know, definitely play around with them and you and you often find the sort of sweet spot for your map and what you like. Well, when you do that in style, just say the start so you can quickly load it back in after all that sort of playing around of, of where the sun is and you know the specific blending mode you like and settings of gamma and saturation etc and then just save it so you can go straight back to it in in one go and uh, hope you find that useful thank you